On today's episode, I'm gonna teach you two very simple ways to make your Webflow website multilingual depending on your site situation. Let's rock and roll. Hey designer friends, what is up? My name is Ron Segal. Welcome back to another Webflow video. I'm getting the question all the time, what's the best way to create a multilingual website with Webflow? And like so many things in life, the answer is quite annoying, which is it depends, right? It depends on your situation, on what you need. So I'm gonna cover two very simple ways. Both of them are kind of simple, but you wanna use them depending on the situation that you have in hand. All right, so let's start off with the first simple use case, which is you have a small website, perhaps it's just one, two, three pages, and not too much content, and you just wanna add another language. Perhaps it's English or Spanish. It's not too much work, right? And so in that case, the most simple thing to do would be just to duplicate. And I wanna show you example of how I did this. This is a website that I did for a friend of mine who has a bread and wine shop in Argentina. And what we have here is basically, I'm gonna open up the pages panel right here. So you can basically see the, the main website is in Spanish, but we have created a folder, which means that everything is gonna be that domain slash English. And I've basically went ahead and duplicate all of the pages in here and just translated them into English. Now, some of the content here, because this is kind of like a restaurant with a menu, some of the content is being pulled from CMS. So we have categories and then we have items on the menu. And if I put up, I open up one of them, you can see that what we've done here is basically we have one item for let's say a salad, and then we have double fields here. So the name is Verdes, and then we have custom field name in English, and then we have description in Spanish, and then we have description in English. And so as you can see, we've basically did kind of like double the fields, and then depending on if the page is in English or Spanish, we're pulling in the right field, only the relevant field depending on the language that we want to do. So this is rather simple, this is very, very simple. Uh, and it doesn't cost you anything, right? It's, it's kind of simple to do and it's kind of simple to maintain. The downside of this though, is that you now have double pages, right? So if you're making a change to the design of the homepage, for example, you wanna, you're gonna have to make sure that you make the same design uh, changes in the duplicate page. Now, if you're working correctly with Webflow and you have very good styling, perhaps you're even working with stuff like symbols, perhaps that's going to be very, very um, simple and seamless, but it's still maintaining two copies of your website, which as your website gets bigger and as you have more content on your website can get a little bit overwhelming to maintain. And that's when you wanna move on into the second solution. So the second solution is by using a third party tool and I recommend this one, which is called Weglot. And basically this is a translation plugin that has so many, much functionality. Um, basically it does, it has, so first of all, it does the translation for you. So you basically put up a, a simple line of code and it creates the duplications for you. Now, instead of duplicating pages within Webflow, it creates subdomains. So instead of having my website be ronsegel.com, it, it will create for me the, let's say if I have Spanish, es.ronsegel.com, and it will duplicate, uh, create the duplication for me, which of course for SEO purposes, it's good to have the content duplicated and not being duplicated on the fly. Let me show you how I've implemented this as well. So again, I've signed up for this. This is really, really easy. It just gives you uh, a quick custom code. You select the languages. So this is my personal website. And I've basically just put up this tiny little code in the head of my uh, website, that's all I have to do. And then I get this kind of like a little pop-up here, which I can click here. I've chose English and Spanish. I can click this and this was all translated automatically. So first of all, it did a lot of the heavy lifting for me. Now, of course, when you're, you have your own business or stuff like that, the translation is not always perfect. And so they're actually giving you an interface where you can go ahead and manually review that. You can actually do that also with a visual editor, quite like the Webflow editor, where you can visually go on the side and change it. But if you want, there is kind of like a dashboard here that you can see how they've 
automatically took each um, each phrase from my website and they've automatically translated, but I can go here and review this. I can make changes to the translation here myself. Now, this is very, very useful because you have kind of like only one dashboard for the translations, which is also kind of outside of the website itself. So if you are working with a company that has multiple languages, they're probably gonna work out with different either translators or content creators who are going to manually review. And this tool will allow you to give access to these people so they can go ahead and edit the content on the website. It's got nothing to do with the design because the design is going to automatically be duplicated only from the original one. So in terms of maintenance, this solution is going to be way, way easier for you, right? You only have one Webflow page and then you, you only, uh, maintain the translation. Now, you might be saying to yourself, well, Ron, but this thing here at the bottom is quite ugly, which I agree with you, but this tool allows for so much customization and the guys at FinSuite, which are doing phenomenal work creating assets for Webflow stuff, you should definitely check them out. They have actually made a clonable project where they have created many different kind of like designs and interactions for how the languages, you can switch languages. And this is basically like copy paste. You can copy this, this project is clonable, so you can copy and paste from here to your website if you wanna customize the look and feel of how this looks like. So this is very, very powerful. Now, yes, this is another additional third-party tool, so it's not free. Um, I think you can go ahead and check their pricing here. I think I've used it for free. You can use it for free for very small website. So I've, you know, my website is under 2000 words, so I could use this for free. But again, for very simple words, you might not even need this. But other than that, if you have more languages, you're probably gonna fall into one of, you know, these categories. And then you might ask yourself, well, now my clients have to pay 200 euros extra or something like that. Well, it's true, they're gonna have to pay extra, but I think if you're th gonna think about the time it's gonna take you to manually do this and manually copy, you know, copy and paste all of these pages and then review them and then all of the mistakes that are gonna happen if you have too much duplication with too many pages uh, and all of the time that's going to be wasted in terms of uh, managing that, then I think, you know, in terms of the time and hustle, it saves you $200 per year. It's actually a pretty decent price for this. And again, you're probably gonna use this only if this is a big website. So if this is a big website, it's your clients probably have the budget for this and it looks like a good solution. Both solutions are very, very simple to implement um, depending on your situation. Let me know if you have any other question about translation, multilingual website, or any other Webflow tutorials that you want. And if you're interested in learning more about Webflow and how to become an amazing designer that can use Webflow to build full clients for their clients, uh, full website for their clients, make sure you check our Webflow Masterclass in the link below. We're gonna open up enrollments pretty soon, so you wanna make sure you're on that wait list to not miss that out. I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.